Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly Tuesday tutorial and in this video I'll be showing you how to create a map view where you'll be able to locate your current location and switch between map, satellite and hybrid views ok so already I have my project set up I've named it map view and it's a view based application for the iPhone and if you haven't noticed already, I'm using the new Xcode 4, available to download from the Dev Center or from the App Store. So first things first, we need to add our map kit framework. And by doing that, we click on map view in the targets, go to build phases, and this one, link binary with libraries, we simply click that, then click the little plus button, and we type in map. Oh, it should come there we go straight away mapkit.framework can we add that that's how we add frameworks to our project so once it's added we go straight into into our map view and straight away to our view controller.h and the first thing we're going to do is I'll just zoom in for us after the import here we want to add our map kit so we simply start by typing import and then get rid of the two quotation marks here Type in the little pointy arrow to the left. Capital map. Capital kit. Bracket. Not bracket, sorry. Forward slash. And again, capital map. Kit. Dot H. And finish up with the opposite side of the um, arrow. And then just after the view control here, we want to add our outlet, which will be MK, capital, MK, M, map view just there space asterisk star and I'll name it simply map view easy to understand now on to our action buttons but first we start with the um, property space bracket on tonic comma space retain retain so oh sorry and that red bracket, space, ID outlet, space, capital M, K, M, map, view again, space, put asterisk star again, and then we type in our outlet for our map view, which we named it map view, very simple, and that red semicolon, press enter. Now our first action button will set the view from either map, satellite, or hybrid, so we simply do ID action, bracket simply set map two dots bracket id sender and a semicolon enter and our final action button will be the button to get our current location so type in bra dash bracket again id action bracket and get location simple and that was semicolon. We can save that now and we will zoom out. And after that, we can go to our view controller.m. And just after the implementation, let's press enter a couple of times so easy to see. I'll zoom in again for you. And here we start with um, just after the implementation, we need to synthesize our map view. So we just type in synthesize. And the highlighted property here, just type in map view. And that was semicolon. Easier. Press enter and we start a couple of times and we do action button, IB action, bracket, and we'll do our get location one first. Enter, curly bracket, press enter again, and we start with map view dot show users location space equals space yes. And that is a semicolon, and that's all that's needed for the get location. And our second action button, so we type in oh, the action bracket, and we named it set map ID sender space curly bracket enter. Now we start typing in switch here. In the expression here, we need to start with 
three brackets there. Capital UI segment. Control. Space asterisk star. Then after the bracket we type in sender. Bracket. Dot. Selected. Segment. Index. Bracket. And in our case here, just click on the consonant to highlight it. The first one will be zero. So we type in zero and little two dots. And in the statement, we need to type in map view dot map type space equals space capital MK M map type. The first one will be standard, map type standard. And that have a semicolon. And simply copy it all from the break all the way to the case, just to save time. So enter. And just do it so we have three all together. Change the second case here to number one. And the third one to number two. Then we need to change this map type here. And we'll change this to satellite. And obviously the final one will be hybrid. There we go. So we have our three map types all set out there. So we just scroll down a bit there. And if you want to pause it here, you want to catch up on any of the coding. But now we can just simply save that. Now I'll zoom out. And we go straight away into our viewcontroller.nib where we'll add our map view and action buttons. So okay then. To get all the um, action buttons up and everything, simply kick up the top here this this square with the grey shaded rectangle on the right, this will bring up all our objects. So the first thing we are going to want to do is add in a toolbar at the bottom. And then we need to add in our map view. And we'll, finally we're going to want, in, want to add in our segment controls. Let's paste them there. And then we want to space out the item and the segment, segment controls with a flexible spacebar. There we go. We'll rename this item location. And our segment controls here, we just click into it. Let's just drag this down so you can see it a bit better. So make sure you click into it. And we are going to want to add three segments all together. In the first segment, we'll rename it map. And then they click here, the second segment, we'll name this satellite. Let's press enter. And the third one, we'll name hybrid. And press enter and it automatically brings up the names down here. So now we need to link up the actions. So we click on file zoner, go to our connections, and we drag the map view to the map view, the get location to location, and then importantly set the map here, we drag it to our segment controls, and this is the most important part here, we need to make sure it's value changed. So now once you've done that, we can simply save it, make sure it's in the iPhone simulator, and we can go to build and run. Should be no problems as, as usual, all my tutorials are perfect. But if any problems do pop up, it's easy to fix. Okay, and so build succeeded, so let's wait for the simulator to load up then. Okay, and then so now it's all loaded up, we can simply drag the map and pinch it in and we can zoom in. We've also got the segment controls here which change the view to satellite or hybrid and also the location button which gets our current location but as I am showing you this on the iPhone simulator it will automatically zoom into California here. But if you test this on your device it will get your current location 
This is only because I'm using the iPhone simulator. But that's it for today. I hope this helps you with any of your projects or apps at the moment. Make sure you send me a message or leave me a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you want to give me some advice on how I can improve my tutorials. Also make sure you follow and like me on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description as well as the links to a few of my apps which are on the App Store right now. And make sure you thumbs up and favourite the video so you have it for future reference. And most importantly, make sure you subscribe. But that's it this week. And I'll see you all next Tuesday in the next tutorial.